Hello, and welcome back to Final Fantasy V. Last episode, we found a black chocobo. We flew it around the uh, world, and we found Sid in the ancient library, and he told us to come here, the quicksand desert, uh, because we need to find an ancient city ruin at the end of this place. Yeah, how are we going to do that? Oh, no, 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 wait a second. Nah, nah, that sounds like a really bad idea. Uh, yeah, I guess. Unwise to use magic. Well, that's okay, because we don't really have any magic jobs uh, at the moment, do we? Where is it, then? Whoa! Oh crap, so we have sort of a whack-a-mole sort of a situation here where the worm pops out of a hole and then it goes back in and comes out another one. So if we attack an empty hole here, what happens? Fuck all. Oh, it casts Demi on someone. Okay, so uh, Demi and on another character. Okay, yep, cool. What Demi does is it essentially, I think maybe it halves your... Uh, hit points. Uh, it does a... It, Demi has a different percentage in every game, so I'm not sure uh, how many it actually does, but yeah, it looks like it's halving our hit points. So, we can't actually be killed by Demi, but it certainly leaves us open to uh, be killed by the worm. So, we'll use heal 2 on everyone. Now we've got to try and figure out some way of dealing damage. Uh, Bart's uh, terrain attack seems to be working pretty well. Now, because Bart's is a Geomancer, he has access to terrain. And what that ability does is it uses an attack based on the uh, area that you're currently in. Shit. What does that do? Okay, just 60. And, uh, yeah, being in the desert, Bart's also has access to the quicksand attack. Unfortunately, though, that means that if he hits the wrong hole, we'll get Demi shot at us. Uh, so we, if we're going to use terrain, we need to make sure that he uses the uh, the dust storm attack. But there's no way of actually knowing; it's completely random. Uh, so we just need to get lucky on that one. The uh, yeah, the full moon seems to be doing a fair bit of damage. Now we want to just wait a second before we attack because we need to know which hole he's going to come out of. We don't want to queue our attack and then have him change holes. Ah, it's going to shoot Demi at us anyway because we're using a uh, area of effect attack. So we can't avoid that. And uh, yeah, Gallop's kick is going to do the same thing. Fuck. Alright, we need Lena to heal immediately. So the only way we're really going to be able to do a fair amount of damage every time is with Faris. Oh, good work, Bartz. I knew equip shields would come in handy. Oh, sure. <laughs> That's lucky. Damn it. How many hit points does it have? It's got to be almost dead, surely. Hit it again, Faris. Oh, come on, you bloody wobbly penis thing. A uh, phallic creature coming out of a hole is uh, kind of, uh, I don't know, a Freudian in nature maybe we could say.
All right, this battle is rip. Oh, hey, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Just as I was about to say, this battle's uh, starting to get a bit old. Uh, there we go, we did it. That wasn't hard at all, was it, guys? Yeah, now we can get through. Uh, is that a yes? <laughs> Yeah, we'll be careful. Right, so now we'll just uh, run along the body of this worm. Change our ability from dash to summon. Uh, actually, change it to learning. So uh, just in case there's any blue magic spells getting shot at us in this area, uh, we can keep Bart's how he is. Alright, let's go. We just want to crawl across this area here. And now the way that the rest of the uh, dungeon works is sort of like a maze. A maze of like conveyor belts, I guess you could kind of call it. Uh, Sand Porky is probably <laughs> the best name I've ever heard for one of these. I'm not sure how they come up with these names because they're just very esoteric. So we need to try and find the uh, the correct way of uh, making it through this, uh, well, this area. Because if we step on the uh, wrong direction of uh, sand flow, uh, we'll be taken back to the exit. So it just, uh, in order to make this go as smoothly as possible, we just got to try and think about uh, the direction we take before we uh, just haphazardly jump on any direction. Okay, so that's no good. How about here? Don't have many HP in this area, do they? Yeah, good miss. Sand killer. Whatever you are, you look like something on the uh, cover of a Goosebumps or something, but... Anyway, there we go. An antidote will no doubt come in handy, although probably no it won't, because we already have antidote the spell, so... Uh, like in uh, most Final Fantasy games, once you get uh, the status healing spells, uh, items generally fall under, uh, you know, like, um, specialised uh, context-based use, rather than, um, you know, any time, anywhere kind of use, but... Anyway, yeah, that, uh, you'll uh, learn that sort of thing as you come across it. And what is this up here? Is this where we're meant to go? Let's check it out. Hey, there's a door. It's locked, apparently. You can see there's kind of a ring of, uh, D, D haze around us, where it becomes uh, less hazy. I don't know why. Uh, let's change Lena. Now that we have Mystic Knight level 4, uh, level 3 I mean, we can uh, change her to something else. Uh, maybe to um, an archer maybe, or a hunter I think it's called. Yeah, hunter. Let's change her to that for a bit. And we'll give her white magic of course, as always. And uh, Fire Bow is probably not the best thing to use in this area, although it seems to be the only bow we have. Uh, it's just, I think, like, in a desert, shooting something with fire is probably not the best idea, but... Uh, yeah, this looks like the pyramid that we saw last episode when we flew over the desert. So we don't need to go to the pyramid right now, we just need to find our way out of here. I think we need to go up. Oh, what have we got now? More sand porkies. Well, we can uh, test out Lena's, uh, Lena's new job. So we can use aim, and that will give her a 100% hit rate. Now, while that sounds pretty stupid, considering the hit rates are pretty high to begin with, uh, they're not with the hunter. I mean, uh, bows generally have a very, very low hit rate. 
So aim is pretty much the only way you can make bows useful. And we should be coming across the exit. Here it is here, marked by the cactuses, as you can see there. Uh, Gotta try and... Yeah, there we go. Too easy. And we leave that place without a problem in the world. Let's keep going down here, see what we'll find. Uh, remember, we're looking for the ancient ruins of Lonka civilization or something or other. Oh, look at this. Bombs, a Final Fantasy staple. Usually in the later games, uh, if you attack a bomb three times in succession, uh, it'll explode with self-destruct attack, but uh, not in this game, it seems. Good going, Bart's gaining a level there. You're really doing the best you can. You've now got 23 out of 25, so we'll see what we can get for his uh, Geomancer. Ah, this looks like a town. The Ruined City. Yep, I reckon it is, Lena. Good work. Good deductive reasoning. Let's have a look around. King Tycoon, what would he be doing here? And I was really wrong when I said we'd never hear this uh, music theme again, didn't I? Wasn't I? Uh, hey, there he goes. He goes that way. What's he doing? How's he managing that? Teleporting bastard, come back. Where is he now? Maybe he's down here. Nah, doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go back then. To the to the uh, area to the right. Let's try that. Oh, hey, there he is. Where are you going? Oh, now you're going up there. Alright, we'll follow you then. There he is. We've got you now. Shit! It was a trap! Why would King Tycoon trap us into falling through a floor? Didn't we already know that, though? Oh, oh are we going to les out? Very good again, Lena. Jesus, it's almost like you know exactly what's going on all the time. Oh, what? Well, that's that then. All right, on we go. Through the scary ruins. Whoa, what the hell is going on? Whoop, okay. Hey, is that Crescent? Oh shit, the ground, it's blowing up! Come on, Bart's run! This area is unlike anything we've seen so far in the game. It's almost a bit uh, anachronistic, really. Uh, meanwhile... 
Hey, the black chocobo! Where's it going? Oh, back to the forest. Did Sid and Mid ride it back? Ah, they did. Okay, well, that's that then. Good job, guys. <laughs> oh, Alright, Faris. Yeah, okay. Good guess, I suppose. What the hell is this? Yeah, why not? Oh, what? <laughs> okay, well, I guess that opened the door then. Uh, but what was that about Sid and Mid? There's a safe point here. Let's uh, go back, actually, because we want to see what's down this side of the room. Another door? Where does this one go? Beds! Oh, shit, yeah. Do I want to catch some Zeds? Of course I do. What do you think this is? Alright, so upwards we go. We don't want to check out the other rooms just yet. We'll just leave them alone for now. Oh, we got to push the lever again. There we go. Past the save point. I had sunk to the bottom of the sea. Think that's a mistranslation there, Bart. Uh, don't they usually have propellers? At least in the back. Well, I guess uh, I guess not uh, old timey sort of uh, ships. Don't, I guess. Ah yes, the Ancients. Of ancient library fame, I'm sure. What are you two doing down here? Oh, amazing, is it? Why? Just looks like uh, where we just were, doesn't it? We'll talk later. Huh? What works? What are you doing? Explain yourself, Sid. Huh? Whoa! Okay. What? What? It? Something's pulling down on the airship. God, we only just got this thing, and already we're getting pulled down. There's a monster. Shit, lucky, lucky we uh, caught those Zeds, eh? So now we just got to deal with the Cray Claw, but unfortunately, <laughs> get get your Cray on. Uh, unfortunately, the um the Cray Claw it has a massive defense, and I love how um I love how Bart's terrain attack does a tsunami. Like how? Aren't we meant to be in the air? I don't know. Maybe it pulled us down into the ocean. I'm not sure. But fucking cure Bart's with your Lennon Jesus. We gotta get this done. Quick! Keep using terrain. Oh, Whirlpool. That didn't work for some reason. And Lennon's... Uh, not Lennon. Fucking Ferris and Gall... Whoa! Yeah, alright. So, we need to try and get more... Fuck. We need to get more of uh, Gallop's critical hits, because that seems to be where all our damage is going to come from. Okay, well, Bart's doing attack makes no difference. 
Um, so the tail screw attack that Crayclaw does is something that we want to try and uh, be able to counter as quickly as possible with uh, Cure 2 because it seems to reduce a character down to uh, single digits. But its other attacks really aren't that powerful. God damn it, Faris. Now if we had a, uh, shit, if we had a thunder element of some kind, like if we had a black mage that could shoot, uh, thunder, then maybe this would be a bit, oh, okay, well never mind, that was a really easy boss. And Bart's own terrain, and we get nice bow, good work. Oh, we're landing already? Yes, the Earth Crystal, that's what we're trying to find, isn't it? I had completely forgotten up to this point because we've done so much. X-Death, we remember him to prevent his revival. What do we got to do? Galuf, finish this off. Yes, that's right. That's what we're doing. That is the plot of the game. Good work, guys. All right. Off we go. We now have our very own airship. So this can fly over anything in the game. It can land anywhere we want. So we will probably play around with this next episode because we have the final town right here. I just managed to uh, find it uh, immediately. So I'll save it here and we'll play around with this sort of stuff uh, next time. Uh, just change Bart's to uh, something else before we go. Back to a knight, I guess. Because we want to master the knight class. It is the most important one at the moment. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.